Well, while you eat, <laughs> we're moving on to our next hubster. Okay, so Olina has a fascinating history. Mm -hmm. Former ballerina, current lawyer. She's a vintage romantic dress collector. She loves museums, she loves history. Whoa. And she is our hubster coming up. Take a look. Hi, my name is Olina. I am a Boston blogger. I love exploring unique and historic places around the city. And today I'm so excited to take you to a few of my favorites. We have a packed day ahead of us, so come on, follow along. We're at the Langham Boston, which was built on the site of Boston's Federal Reserve Bank. The Langham is the perfect spot for a winter adventure, it has beautiful architecture, it steps from downtown Boston, has plush and cozy hotel rooms, and a beautiful pool. The Langham's Grana is set in a stunning historic space, and it is a sumptuous place to enjoy brunch. Fed is a cozy setting to enjoy cocktails and elevated pub fare. It's time to check out and head to our next destination. We're in downtown Boston at the intersection of Old and New. Behind me are Old City Hall and the Old South Meeting House. These buildings date back to the 1700s. You can tour both of them through revolutionary spaces, which also offer themed walking tours of the city. There are so many hidden gems to explore in downtown, but for now we're headed to Beacon Hill. We're at one of my favorite places, the Boston Athenaeum, which is a library and museum. I got to talk to one of the resident experts about what makes the Athenaeum so special. The Athenaeum was uh, founded in 1807. It was an outgrowth of an organization called the Anthology Society. Your curiosity is really your passport and you're gonna find a lot of kindred spirits here. If you're visiting Boston and you have a limited time in the city but you want to experience the Athenaeum, uh, there are a few ways you can do that. An art and architecture tour allows you to learn more about the Athenaeum's history and rich collection, while a day pass gives you access to all five of the beautiful floors. Whether you're an avid reader, history buff, or just looking for a quiet place to work, the Athenaeum has something for you. I hope you enjoyed today's tour. If you did, please follow Olina Squared for more. Until next time.